Hello my friends, my name is Rich and welcome to Greatest Rock and Metal. On Greatest Rock and Metal I talk about what are for me the greatest albums, bands, gigs in rock and metal that I've experienced in my many many years of listening to thousands of CDs and albums and going to hundreds of gigs. If you enjoy what you see, please press the red button to subscribe to the channel to see future episodes. It's free, it's easy to do, and I'd be very grateful. Thank you very much. Now, today, the featured band is going to be the band Machine Head, or as the fans like to call them, Machine Fucking Head, Machine Fucking Head. Um, in fact, they've even got a live album that's titled Machine Fucking Head Live. Let's have a look at that. Look at that cover. What a great cover for an album and title. Machine Fucking Head Live. So, I think if you don't know about Machine Head, that will give you some idea as to what the music is like on Machine Head. It's in your face, it's aggressive, it's bouncy. <laughs> What? Yeah, they've got a real groove to their sound and um, it's one of the things that really got me into Machine Head. It wasn't just the fact that um, it was aggressive metal, but you could really uh, uh, move and, and slam along and sing along to their songs. So anyway, how did I get into them? Well, it started with the very first single from their very first album and the very first video. Saw this video on uh, some music channel in the UK and the title of the song was Davidian and it started off with this awesome drum beat and then into the guitar this big riff and it was a real build up, an exciting build up to a song and then BAM into the video and the, uh, the big aggressive vocals of uh, singer and guitarist Rob Flynn and off and running on what was a brilliant and still is today a brilliant song. So that was my introduction to Machine Head. As soon as I saw that video I had to get more Machine Head. They were formed in 1991 and they were considered part of uh, what was termed the new wave of American heavy metal. You'd had the new wave of British heavy metal in the late 70s, early 80s, and now uh, the new wave of American heavy metal in the early 90s, which featured bands like Pantera, Korn, Biohazard, and uh, uh, Machine Head. They were considered some of the, the earlier bands in this, uh, in this new wave sound. And what was the new wave of, Brit of American heavy metal? Well, basically, it was taking the new wave of British heavy metal template and uh, mixing it up with thrash that had been uh, big in the mid to late 80s and creating this um, awesome uh, heavy but uh, melodic, uh, vibey uh, sound, also mixture of uh, rap uh, kind of hip hop music elements in there as well. It kind of later formed into uh, new metal. Uh, the two of the, the genres kind of mixed a little bit, a little bit, although new metal tended to have a lot more of the rap and hip hop influences. So, Machine Head. Now, even though they were from America, um, in the early part of their career, and to be honest, still today, uh, they haven't been able to, to carve out as big a career in America as they've been, to do, uh, been able to do in Europe, and especially in the UK. When they hit in uh, 1994 with the Burn My Eyes album, their debut album, it was 
it was huge in the in the UK. And actually, uh, for the record label Roadrunner Records, it became one of their uh, biggest selling albums. And um, Burn My Eyes really uh, put Machine Head on the map, and they had a very rapid rise in the UK and Europe. Uh, not so much in America. Uh, they had to work very, very hard to build uh, a fan base in their um, home country. Moving on with the with the band, as you can see, they've they've had a, a reasonable discography for a band that has now been going for thirty years. So not a massive discography, but a reasonable discography. Uh, in fact, it's incredible itself that they've been able to survive for 30 years playing this type of music and uh, full-on respect to them for being able to achieve that. They've had a number of lineup changes over the years as well. The consistent member has always been uh, this guy here, uh, the founder uh, and as I've mentioned before vocalist and guitarist Rob Flynn. Uh, it's his band really. Uh, they have had some long-term members. Um, the original um, drummer, well not the original drummer, the drummer that appeared on Burn My Eyes, um, uh, Chris Contos, um, he left and was uh, pretty early in their career, re replaced by a guy called Dave McLean, who was there for quite a long time. He only recently left. And uh, uh, guitarist uh, Logan Matter, he left again pretty early in their career and um, was replaced by a guy called Phil Demmel, who uh, again was with the band for quite a long time, although he has recently left. And the band pretty much was, was uh, left with none of what were considered the, the, the classic Machine Head members um, in uh, the, um, what year are we in now? <laughs> 2021. Um, in in, in uh, 2018, uh, the band was pretty much just Rob Flynn and a, a newly recruited uh, bass guitarist. And what he cleverly decided to do, uh, because the, the split was very acrimonious with uh, Demo and McLean, um, and um, a, a lot of um, tears were shared within the Machine Head fans and camp, but very, very cleverly, uh, Rob Flynn came up with the idea, well, let's have a 25th anniversary tour for the Burn My Eyes album, and that's what they did in 2019, bringing back Contos and uh, Mara to play. Um, they weren't able to bring back the, uh, uh, the, the basis from the Burn My Eyes uh, uh, record, Adam Deuce, who again had been with uh, uh, Machine Head for quite a while, but uh, again another acrimonious split. I'm guessing Rob Flynn is not easy to work with, uh, but there you go. Uh, what he is able to do is create great music and in Machine Head make a great band and a fantastic live band and we'll come on to that a little bit later. Um, so today's featured album is going to be the debut album which has recently celebrated its 25th anniversary tour. But before we take a look at that, let's take a look at Rock T-shirts by the sea. So, the debut album, Burn My Eyes, from 1994. This is a uh, newly reissued uh, vinyl version of the album. It's a, a, a double album, gatefold, you've got all the lyrics um, inside there and uh, uh, various uh, messages and uh, text about the band. And um, 
This has been pressed on. Wait, let's get it out. And again, allegedly. You know my thoughts on uh, limited editions. I would say allegedly limited editions. I'm not really sure about these things. Um, gold vinyl featuring the brilliant MH Machine Head logo in the, in the center label. I love the uh, the MH logo. I think it looks fantastic on uh, merchandise and uh, shirts, etc. So, Machine Head, Burn My Eyes. Very striking album cover and a very striking album. Um, they played this album in its entirety on the recent 25th anniversary tour, along with uh, lots of other tracks from across their discography. Um, I mentioned Machine Head Live. I'm going to talk more about my first experience of Machine Head Live um, a little bit later. But I just want to mention now how they are such a brilliant live band and they're one of the few bands that are able to put on uh, a show that is just them. They go out with what they call an evening with machine head show where they'll, they'll basically play two sets and uh, uh, you know you've got over a three hour set of machine head song and, and they pull it off brilliantly. Um, Unfortunately, I have yet to see it in the flesh myself. Um, it did come around um, to my neck of the woods, an evening with Machine Head, um, uh, a few years ago, but uh, I wasn't in, uh, in town when it hit, sadly. Uh, just one of those unlucky things. But I hope in the future I'll get to see, to experience one of the at machine, evening with Machine Head shows. But there's many, many, they've done many live streams, especially from the Burn My Eyes anniversary tour. And uh, you can see those on YouTube and get an idea of how great they are. So, the Davidian album then, the debut album. As always, I will pick my favorite four tracks. Uh, I said Davidian album then, didn't I? I should have said Burn My Eyes album. Uh, the first track I choose is the uh, first song on the album. The first song I got into, which I mentioned before, Davidian. There's only one more thing I'll say about that track. Let freedom ring with the shotgun blast! Boom! Uh, check out the song if you don't know it and you'll know what I'm talking about. I've spoken enough about Davidian already. Let's move on to another favourite track. Well, actually, it's the second track on the album. Old. Brilliant um, uh, drumming. In fact, it goes throughout. One thing I really, really love about the, this album, I love the drumming. Contos's drumming on this album is superb and um, old. And in fact, the next track as well, the third track I'll choose, third track on the album, A Thousand Lies. Um, both of those tracks are real standouts for me uh, for the, the drumming and the, the guitar riffs. They've got brilliant, brilliant uh, guitar riffs and a, a great, great chorus on, 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 on both of them, especially the uh, old, old man. Love it, love it, love it. Um, the fourth track I will choose. Now those three are real, real standouts for me. Um, they kick off the album and um, just absolute classics, all three of them. Uh, the next are all great songs for the rest of the album and, it, and it's tricky to pick a fourth one because it's such a high quality album full of high quality songs. Uh, the one that I would pick is The Rage to Overcome uh, for a couple of reasons. One, I like the lyrics to this song but also I love the guitar work. It's got like a, a uh, a very high-pitched, squealy uh, guitar um, uh, riff, riff to it um, that kind of starts off the song and uh, is there throughout the, 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 the verse and then it, it kicks into a bigger, thicker uh, uh, riff as, as well. So there's a couple of, of, of great riffs on uh, this song. So they're my favourite four. Brilliant album. If you love real hard, aggressive, heavy metal music, 
this is a great place to start with the band Machine Head. Now, I mentioned seeing them live for the first time. What an introduction to be able to see Machine Head live. They came to the UK and they played a support band for Slayer. Wow. So this was way back in, you know, this is so faded, I can't really see it. I think it was uh, towards the end of uh, 1994. Um, what I do remember though is this was a phenomenal gig and sit down if you're not sitting down for what I'm going to say next it's going to be controversial Machine Head blew Slayer off the stage the support band Machine Head blew Slayer off the stage now if there's any Slayer fans out there listening to this if you like no Slayer never get blown off the stage. Slayer are always the best band on any uh, bill. Well, I'm sorry, but on that night it wasn't true. Not that Slayer weren't great, because Slayer are always great, but Machine Head were absolutely on fire. And so was the crowd. This was at the Newport Centre in Wales, in the UK. Now the Newport Centre, for those of you who don't know, is a leisure centre. So this gig was basically in a large sports hall. And um, it was a great place to see gigs. I really used to enjoy it. It would have uh, the floor, was it was general admission, floor was all open, and then they had seats around the side uh, and the back. And it, it would only hold about maybe, uh, I don't know, 1,000, 1,500, 2,000 people. And, but it was a big stage. For, for such a small venue because it was a very wide hall and uh, Machine Head were just absolutely fantastic and the crowd was mental. It was probably one of the most aggressive gigs that I've ever been to and, and, and watching how crazy the crowd were going um, showed just how quickly uh, uh, Machine Head had risen in popularity in, in the UK and they played uh, only six songs in total because of course it was a support set and obviously um, and five of those songs were from um, from Burn My Eyes they played Davidian, they played A Thousand Lies, they played Old they played uh, Block and Blood for Blood the best songs on, on the album so uh, that in itself was amazing. They also played um, a cover song by a band called Poison Idea and that song Alan's on Fire, which is something they played uh, quite a lot over the years and they've uh, recorded it as a, a B-side as well. So an absolutely fantastic introduction to seeing Machine Head live. I've seen them live many times and they have never disappointed and um, and neither has their discography for me there's some people who will complain about some of the albums in the discography but for me I, I think they've got a very very strong discography ah uh, so having said that i always choose what i would say are the four albums that i would also recommend you go and hunt out if you want to learn more about machine head well of course the debut album burn my eyes I would also uh, recommend the album which uh, many people say is their best. This is titled The Blackening. And um, this, this was an album that kind of gave their career a kickstart, uh, mid-career mid for them. Uh, they did a lot of touring on this album and a lot of uh, uh, musicians in the metal world uh, uh, spoke about how great this album is and another album of theirs I would recommend is uh, Unto the Locust uh, a fantastic album very very strong album um, I would actually put it on a par with with the blackening although many would say I'm crazy to do that 
but uh, I, 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 I think uh, Until the Locust is equally fantastic. And then, wow, controversial one again for any of you Machine Head fans out there. I am going to choose also, as one of my four picks, their new album, or their most recent album, I should say, because it's a little bit old now, Catharsis. I really like this album. I think, again, it's a very, very strong album. Now, a lot of Machine Head fans are not so keen on it because um, there's a real, sp uh, not just out and out thrash throughout on this album. Uh, there's, um, there's some, some, there's some uh, oh, well, how, how can I describe it? There's some rap elements in there. Um, there's also some, uh, uh, Irish folk elements in there as well, but I, I, I think it's a, a great, great album. So there you have it. That is my little introduction to Machine Head. If you've enjoyed this episode, please press the red button to subscribe to see future episodes of Greatest Rock and Metal. Thank you very much for watching, and remember, as always, we rock!